Welcome back to the channel everybody, Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa. And I've got some uh, nice new stuff courtesy of DIY Detail, as you can see here. So starting today, um, now I am recording this ahead of time, so it is possible things may change. But starting today, the day that this video goes live, um, their new ceramic coatings should be available. And I'm going to go over each one of these ceramic coatings because they've got a three year, a five year, and an eight year. And you may be wondering what the difference is other than price. And these are all exterior ceramic coatings. Uh, so I just wanted to go over DIY detail real quick. And again, uh, thanks Ivan for reaching out to me. Um, Ivan let me know that he was sending this stuff out uh, to give him a call so we can get some things factored in. And he let me pick his brain for a little bit, ask a bunch of questions. He was happy to answer them. Really great guy. So Ivan, thanks again. And thanks for the rest of the team, Nick and everyone else at DIY detail for everything you guys do. So DIY Detail, um, just real quick guys, when this brand first launched, I was skeptical. I was like, wow, you know, another brand, just what we need <laughs> in the detailing industry. Um, and, you know, I just didn't know. I'm like, are they just going to be another one of those brands that's like all marketing and, you know, mediocre results? Um, you know, what do we got here? So eventually um ivan actually reached out to me directly and because uh, i haven't seen my youtube channel as small as it is um and he said hey uh we want to send you some uh, doi detail products and see how you like them and i was like all right sure and i think it was around the time they launched the gold standard polish and you probably noticed on my channel i do i tend to do more paint i mean i do a lot of product testing but my preferred method of detailing is exterior and paint correction. That's what I love to do. Um, you may have noticed that. So first thing he sent me was this gold standard uh, waffle pad and the gold standard polish. Did a review of that. I was like, oh, you know, that's pretty neat. Um, sprayable polish is a new thing to me. I know it's not a new thing in the market. Then eventually he sent me another package uh, with the, when they came out with the uh, gold standard cutting pad, um, the uh, clay towel, and the rest of these products. Well, these products, not not this one, but like the rinseless wash and everything. Tested it all out. Very impressed. So all great quality stuff. They're not just marketing. They do have a huge marketing budget, of course. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious, but a lot of great stuff. So recently, um, I've been I've been liking the brand more and more. Ivan's a very knowledgeable guy. A lot of good information. Um, so they sent me these uh, these coatings here. Uh, as well as these foam applicators uh, that you can use for a coating application and wax. Uh, they seem pretty durable. They're not going to rip on you. Um, they're kind of like one-time use for using for coatings, obviously, as all applicators are. And some uh, coating wipe-off towels. He said he likes to level with the... Uh, I forgot. He levels with one of them and then wipes clean with the other. I think he levels with the fluffy one and then wipes clean with the uh, flatter ones. So I'm going to try that out. So let's get into these coatings now that I've, I've rambled on enough. So we got three ceramic coatings here um, and we'll go over them one by one. I'll even open them up for you. So I've got the three year ceramic coating. Now these are all going to be 30 milliliter bottles. So three year ceramic coating, which is going to cost $59.99. So basically it's about $20 per year. <laughs> uh, we got the five year ceramic coating, which is going to cost uh 99.99 and then we've got the eight year ceramic coating which is going to cost 159.99 now i do have a discount code that should be working for these coatings as well as everything else on their store you can check it out in the description below it's 10 percent off so you can get yourself 10 percent off save yourself some money so i'll show you the boxes up close here real quick so as you notice that when we're going to start the three year three years has graphic graphene coating the other ones don't interesting right so the, the boxes are all more or less the same other than uh the front but the boxes look nice these are nice nice little boxes the ceramic coating comes in um so these ceramic coatings so we'll start with the three years so the three years the only one with graphene in it so that uh as you know graphene has improved water resistance um, over other coatings now each of these coatings for the year that it's rated can easily last longer than their their ratings it's all going to depend on how you take care of the car that's why diy didn't put a rating on their um coatings previously however i think you know they finally realized like you know just for marketing purposes for people trying to sell coatings 
DIY detail obviously is, is aimed at the DIY market, but a lot of professionals use this stuff as well. So professionals need a way to market their services with the coatings they, they offer, because uh, there's people like me who offer different levels of coatings. So one thing customers always ask, clients always ask, how long does it last? So you can tell them that's how long it's gonna last. So three year is a graphene coating, so uh, 30 milliliters or one ounce. So this is, these coatings all have the same base, but each one of them is a little bit different. So three years gonna have graphene added. The other two are not gonna have graphene added. Now these coatings are all a polysilazane base uh, with SiO2, which is silicon dioxide, SiC, which is silicon carbide, and SiN, which is silicon nitride. Now they use a blending process called reactive blending. This is what Ivan was telling me. Most companies do cold blending where they just, you know, kind of mix ingredients in a pot, you know, not a literal pot, but you know, they're in their blending facility, they mix the ingredients um, and then bottle it. Now reactive blending basically involves heating and cooling the chemicals as you add more chemicals in, add a different chemical in, heat it to this, add some in, cool it to this, add this in. Um, and the reason for that, obviously, is depending on the heat, you get different chemical reactions um, to get things to blend better. So I don't know who blends for DIY Detail. I'm sure it is a major company because um, obviously, you know, the, the volume they sell is going to take a lot of staff. So, but yeah, and, and from what I understand, what Ivan was saying is the, the blender themselves this is kind of their brand, but they needed a way to promote it. So they used Ivan and Nick, obviously, for that. Uh, so DIY Detail, in a sense, are, are their own, more or less their own blenders. But, you know, the blending company is a separate entity from DIY Detail. But they seem to really uh, know their stuff when it comes to blending. They've obviously made some great products. Now we got some great coatings. So keep in mind, with this graphene coating, guys, Graphene, I don't care what company it is, and Ivan told me this himself, the, the effects of the graphene in the formula wear off after about a year um, because your coat, your car obviously gets brushed up against through washing, dirt and debris flying. The, the surface of the coating kind of gets worn a little bit, so it's not perfectly smooth. So those graphene effects kind of go away. However, you can use quick beads, which is graphene infused, to, to uh, kind of revitalize that graphene layer. Uh, to keep it nice and slick to help with that water spot resistance. Now, keep in mind it's water spot resistance, not water spot proof. So, results may vary. Um, but that's the cheapest option here. The next one we've got is a five year coating. Now, this, this coating is going to have the best gloss out of all the coatings. Um, obviously, it lasts longer, it does not have graphene in it. Personally, I don't really care what's in the coating as long as it is a good coating. Uh, but this is going to have the best gloss, is what I was told. So if you were to measure the gloss, now I know DIY has talked about you can apply a coating without polishing the car. Yes, you can as long as you decontaminate it properly. Myself, I always polish the car because I want the best looks. However, I factor the cost of the um, <clears throat> correction into the price of my service. So some people choose to offer a cheaper option uh, where you can get the coating without it. That's great. I have my opinion on that. And then I basically say, if you're going to take the time to apply a coating, you might as well take the time to polish because if the customer is just looking for gloss, you know, use an all-in-one polish or something like that. But that's just me. Or what has, how I've been told me, use gold standard polish and use a ceramic gloss to wipe it off and boom, and it's going to be a lot faster. So that's something you can do. Getting a little off track here. Sorry. <laughs> but best gloss out of the five-year coating. Then we've got the eight-year coating, obviously the most expensive. This is going to be the most uh, hardy, resistant coating of all of them. Now, all these coatings are 9H rated. Um, they kind of exceed the 9H rating because when you, 9H rating just means like, oh, you know, the pencil hardness test. Uh, they drag something across the surface with a certain amount of weight. Um, and 9H is the highest rating you can get. And then you can continue to add weight on there. You don't get a higher rating. So uh, what I've been told me is this can hold up. They do up to like 500 grams I think it was um, for however the test goes for people that are interested um, most people don't even know about it or care about it but just want to throw that in there um, and these are all made in the USA so if you're here in the US watching this you know support your own country I'm not saying other products from other countries aren't great they are but if you can support uh, stuff here on the home front 
you know, I know a lot of people prefer things made in the USA. DOI details all made in the USA. So that's good. Now, some important things uh, and interesting things that are going to help, especially the professional applying these coatings. When you apply the coatings, it's got a five minute flash time. Five minutes. That is crazy. Now, you've seen when I use other brand coatings, uh, a lot of coatings are kind of wipe on, wipe off. They've got a quick, quick flash time. Uh, I know like CarPro, Seacourse UK, um, the Ryan West Industries coatings that I use, they kind of wipe on, wipe off. They got a small window to wipe that stuff off or it's hard to wipe off. This, you wait five minutes. Um, you can do an entire side of a car, an entire section of a car, come back and wipe it off. That's going to help you fly through the process and that should really help avoid high spots because the stuff's not going to, you know, be like rock solid immediately. Uh, however, it does cure quickly. This, this stuff is good to release. After it is cured for one hour, it is safe to expose to the elements. You still want to wait one week before exposing it to surfactant cleaners because uh, the, the, the polymers are still cross-linking, as they say. Um, that's true of pretty much every ceramic coating. It'll cure after a certain amount of time, but you still want to wait one week before you wash it. Um, but this, this stuff, you can go driving in the rain after one hour. So if you are a professional, guess what? You don't got to keep the car overnight. If you're a mobile detailer, this is going to be great for you. Car cures for one hour, go ahead and throw it back outside. You're good to go. Uh, if you want to top it with ceramic gloss, you wait two hours. It'll be fine to use ceramic gloss on it after two hours. So that's great. So this, this is going to be really helpful for a lot of professional detailers that are limited on space and have more clients to do, especially if you're mobile and your customer's car stays outside. If you can get that car prepped and coated in a few hours, and if it's going to rain later that day, keep it dry for that one hour and you're good to go. Especially if you got it out in the sunlight after, like it'll, it'll cure much faster in sunlight. No need for IR curing. Um, IR curing takes a long time, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you're a busy shop, time is money. So yes, this may cost $160. This may cost $100. This may cost $60. Uh, but time is money. If you can get those cars in and out of your shop, you can, that means you can code another one. This cost becomes insignificant after a while. Um, but that's just some very interesting uh, stuff to let uh, the professionals know. So that's really all there is to say about these coatings, guys. Um, obviously, ceramic coatings are nothing new, but the way that they, the key things that they are doing differently here is um, one hour cure time top it after two hours and it's good to go so that is going to be great for you detailers out there or if you don't even have a garage and you want to do this outside if you are doing it yourself for your own vehicle um you don't need you're not going to need a garage to do it you're going to need some shade go ahead and knock it out in the early morning get it coated in the early morning and you're good to go even if uh, you want to prep the car the day before come back that morning wipe it down with a uh, rinseless wash and then panel prep and go ahead and coat it then you're good to go while you're in the shade um, so some interesting stuff guys remember again use my discount code in the description below 10% off save yourself some money uh, does help support the channel as well uh, but again just uh, just by you watching this video is supporting the channel so I really appreciate it additional ways to support the channel obviously use uh, my discount links in the description below like the video subscribe um, and leave a comment with your thoughts that's all I got for you guys hopefully um, you know, you're as excited about this stuff as I am. I am going to be applying the eight-year coating to my car, and I'm going to be recording that. My car currently has C-Quartz uh, UK and C-Quartz SIC, one layer of each. And um, it's it's nearing the end of its life, and I'm going to do an update on that as well. But um, I, I might have already posted the update by the time this video comes out. <laughs> but um, it's, it's time for something uh, new, so we're going to go ahead and throw the eight-year coating on there. Um, and then we'll probably use these for some client cars in the future, but I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.